Now let's talk about those second do pieces that are non-rescue pieces. When that engine company or that ladder company arrives on scene, hopefully they're equipped with a basic complement of some vehicle stabilization equipment as well as some very minor uh, extrication equipment. It's relatively common in the U.S. to see a combi tool with a power plant and some basic step chocks on your fire apparatus. If, those, if that cache of equipment is in place, then they can kind of up the ante on what they can accomplish uh, prior to the rescue getting on scene. So we've already got an EMS-based crew inside of the vehicle doing their assessment. They've made the vehicle relatively safe, um, and they've made the general area safe. Some additional things that those second two pieces can accomplish prior to the rescuer's arrival are windshield cuts, as well as any relief cuts that might facilitate the overall rescue operation. Now keep in mind that we're using the premise of that second or third due piece is not equipped with full-size spreaders and full-size cutters. If you attack door pop operations or full extrication operations with an undersized or inadequate tool, such as a small combi tool, the likelihood of skidding those doors and making the rescue operation actually become more cumbersome is very high. So it's kind of like a football team in understanding your positions. Try to accomplish the fundamentals and the foundational skill sets and requirements for the rescue team before they arrive. Don't jump in to trying to tackle the advanced applications of the extrication if you're not really equipped to do so. The only time we would encourage those um, under-equipped or under-capable uh, apparatus and crews to start accomplishing those advanced extrication operations is if there is a delayed response of that technical rescue unit or if you simply don't have those capabilities and capacities within your district or your organization. When we're talking about windshield cuts, if we know that we're going to do an extrication process that's going to be a roof removal, that second or third due piece can use flathead axes, halogen tools, reciprocating saws, or manual windshield shield saws to make that lateral cut all the way across the windshield just above the dashboard. They can then uh, further that cut by making some vertical cuts up the A-posts that go to where they presume the A-post cuts are going to be. That will help speed up the process for the rescue team. That crew can then also take their halogen tool or their combi tool and start creating some basic purchase points in the door applications where they think the extrication is going to take place. That will also facilitate the rescue operation once the rescue gets on scene. If they know they're going to do a roof flap or anything along those lines, they can go ahead and create relief cuts in that roof system utilizing that combi tool, also furthering the, the process for the rescue team prior to arrival. You can see talking about all these possible options, this is a lot to accomplish for those first two pieces. So staying focused on their job will get all of those foundational skill sets done appropriately and in a timely manner prior to the rescue company's arrival.